Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your energy reading. And this is a timeless reading. And it is simply what you need to know right now. And this is a very general reading. So take what resonates and drop the rest, okay? Not every single message is going to resonate with you. So keep that in mind and try to force the message as well. If it resonates, you know, listen on. Uh, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. And if it doesn't, just, you know, wait and see if the next message is going to uh, make more sense for you. Okay. So we have your financial flow and happily ever after. Very nice, Scorpio. I like this for you. Financial flow. Uh, I feel this happily ever after. Okay. It's not necessarily romance, but uh, it, it is about you being happy with your situation and you're experiencing very nice financial flow. What else? One more, beauty, okay? Beauty, beauty inside, outside. Um, work with the energies of beauty. How can you purify within so that the outer is also um, purified, okay? So let's say you are going through something right now and you are looking for answers there is no clarity and you're looking for answers. And you know what? Your first card is the sun, right? So um, the sun is a disinfectant, very powerful disinfectant. It's a happy energy. So whatever you're going through right now or whatever you're very concerned about right now, know that everything will be okay because the sun is out. Very nice. And then we have four of swords, okay? Okay. Four Swords is about healing. So you will go through a healing process or you are going through a healing process. Give yourself give yourself time to heal, right? Healing is so important if we want to, um, you know, sometimes we get impatient, right? We don't want to rest or we don't want, we don't give time for healing. And if that, you know, happens, then obviously you're not going to be fully rested. You're going to work. This is a work hard kind of energy, right? So, um, you know, your physical body may be working hard, your emotional self may be working hard or mental self or spiritual self, right? So you're working hard and um, you will get the results because this is the, we have the Knight of Wands, right? Knight of Wands. It's a fire sign, right? So the Knight is like, you know, a Knight in shining armor, right? And Knight of Wands is the Knight of Fire. So you are... Um, you know, being the warrior, being the, the knight in that armor and doing what you need to. And then you have the wheel of fortune. So fortune is going to work in your favor. So whatever issues that you are concerned right now, whatever you're going through and you're seeking clarity, here you go, the answers. And I hope the answer is going to serve you well. So whenever you watch this is the right time for you. Um, timeless readings are such. Okay, so... Uh, Again, another time for rest. So rest, okay, rest. And um, this is a rest card because you will uh, very soon pick up from where you left off and then um, restart the journey, so to speak. Eight of Cups. You're walking away from a situation. So whatever it is that you are concerned about, you will go through the healing process, you'll shine light, you'll work hard. Um, fortune is going to work in your favor and then you're going to walk away from it, right? Which means like, you know, it's, it's like you say, okay, I don't need this anymore. Uh, it has taught me a lesson and I'm willing to let it go. All right. And we have justice. So justice is being played out. Very nice. I like this reading for you, Scorpio. Let's get some clarifiers or some confirmation on today's message here for you, whatever it is that you're struggling with, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is a new opportunity coming your way. Okay. That's a nice card. Ace of Pentacles. So it's all good. Uh, whatever you're very concerned about, it seems like it's all going to work out well. Okay, there's a whole stack here. I'm not going to look at all of them, but I'm going to look at King of Cups. King of Cups is to be calm and diplomatic. All right. Um, lean into the energies of calmness, diplomacy, uh, emotional maturity, and 
I feel it will serve you very well in whatever you're going through right now. Let's look at this one. Oh my, another king, king of swords. So lean into energies of integrity, morality. Ah. Let's see what else. Just to give you a little bit of confirmation, we have seven of wands. Interesting energy. Okay, we're not going to take these two. We're just going to look at seven of wands. Seven of wands is uh, you being convicted in uh, or you're defending yourself, having clearer boundaries, convicted in the direction that you're heading. All right? You are quite certain that it is something that you... Whatever it is, right, you're going through and you're taking a new direction, a new path and you and you are quite clear and certain about this. So we have a whole stack that flipped, but I'm going to take the Ace of Wands. All right, Ace of Wands is your potential and inspiration. So these cards seems to be confirming the earlier message that things are going to work out, whatever you're going through, whatever you're worried about, concerned about, um, fortune is you know, working in your favor. And then we have the sun card that's going to, that's shining light into your areas of concern, areas of worry. Okay. Let's see whether we get some cards from this shamanic healing oracle. This is for Scorpio. What else is, what is wrong? Very active energy here. A lot of uh, cards jumping. Okay. So Scorpio, let's see. What sort, what other messages for Scorpio here from this Oracle deck? Okay. Perception. So everything is perception. Are you having a clear perception of what is happening? This is also about balance, isn't it? Have a clear, balanced perspective about things. The yin and yang is about balance, right? So um, stay balanced in your perception about the situation that you're experiencing or it could also mean uh your perspective about other people or maybe even yourself okay stay balanced in that perspective let's see what else is there for scorpio none okay uh let's see from this deck what do we get for you scorpio Show the world the real you, okay? So do not be afraid to show the world the real you. The real you has to sh has to show up somehow or another. If not now, later, um, you can't really hide it. So you might as well empower yourself and show up as who you are. Okay, Scorpio? Um, interesting reading here. And I hope that this, this reading is giving you some clarity about what you're going through. Um, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of good news uh, coming in. It is working in your favor. So uh, we have the sun. It's powerful. We have wheel of fortune. Extra powerful when you have these two combined together. Okay. So I'm happy for you. You're going to get positive results from whatever you're going through, Scorpio. And if you're interested in um, more clarity about your situation, you can always book a private session. Details are below this video. Okay, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.